Hey everybody, this is a um, kind of a gene review or comparison, I guess. Uh, I'm starting to get a little dark here and losing light, so hopefully uh, we get through this here real quick. Um, I purchased these 501 original premium goods selvage denim jeans. There's a mouthful off of uh, Levi's website. Just got them and. I thought it'd be kind of cool to do a comparison between these jeans and your typical 501s that you can buy, you know, just about anywhere. Uh, Dillard's or your outlet, Levi's Outlet Mall or, you know, real common. Uh, these, not so much. I mean, I haven't seen them at the outlet store. Um, the only place I've seen them was online. Uh, through Levi's website. Um, I got these on sale for about $65 shipped um, to my front door. So, you know, that's not, not too shabby compared to uh, some of the other selvage denim prices that you see out there. You know, for raw denim jeans, you know, $250 easy. Um, and considering your standard fare 501s can be forty fifty dollars um, you know I thought this was a pretty good deal to dive into the selvage denim and see what it was like um, you know other than the fact that it's selvage denim and you can you can really tell the difference in you know the quality of the denim in in the weave uh, you know that's one of the major things the other thing I noticed is the stitching on these jeans is quite a bit better. Uh, in fact, probably a lot, way a lot better. <laughs> um, you can see it in a lot of the little details. You know, first off is the, uh, the selvage denim, which, you know, is that standard uh, white, red stitch see that and then the stitching on the other side too which is really nice see the attention to detail um, you can see also here this is a thicker you know double appears almost as a double stitch I, maybe it's not but it kind of you can really see the it's a lot heftier compared to your standard 501s let's say I got that really thin stitching through there um, you know, that versus that or that versus that. You start to see the difference between the premium goods 501 selvage denim jeans and your standard 501s. Okay, so if we move up from there to the back pockets and the belt loops. Starting with the back pockets, you see some extra stitching right here. It's kind of interesting. Makes it smooth that you can't really catch anything on it or anything like that. So a little reinforcement with that. Um, on the 501, standard 501s, you don't have that. So you can, you know, kind of catch it there and there's no reinforcement over time maybe that would make you know a difference that extra little bit of uh, stitching there but it might just be for you know cosmetic some functionality going up to the belt loops um, flip this open you see again stitching that is you know kind of reinforced across the belt loops and at the bottom as well. Belt loops are a little bit bigger. Um, going over here to the standard 501s. You can see the difference there. Didn't have a brand new pair of um, standard 501s to do this comparison with, you know. So the you know, these have been washed versus, you know, these that have not been washed. Um, 
you know, so there is that. But uh, back to the stitching, if we flip this one open, let's flip them both open here. Um, you can see, again, detail to stitching all along here. You can see it in the buttonholes as well. A little more reinforced, a little bit nicer. Pockets, another area. Pockets, uh, definitely a thicker, more durable, um, heavier weight uh, pockets. Uh, if you go over here to the 501s, the standards, you can kind of see the, again, stitching, buttonholes, thinner pockets. Um, there's some more differences right there in between the two. Uh, I'll give you some shots of the labels. This one's pretty standard, 501 shrink to fit. Um, some of the reading I've done suggests that the 501 selvage den denim, this particular pair of pants, they, they don't shrink as much as your regular 501s. I don't know that to be true yet. Um, I think eventually I'll probably end up washing these. So I, you know, I'll find out eventually. Here's the selvage denim tag. Goes on to give description of what that is. Kind of a cool thing they included. Flip it open. There's the special treatment tag. And that it's rigid. And the inside gives you, you know, how to care for the jeans. It's interesting because it does say basically not to wash them at all or very far and few in between. So that's kind of the re review of the jeans. Um, I don't know, just thought I would do this. I find it interesting. And there's probably some other people out there that are also trying to, you know, see the difference or understand the differences between the two. Um, types of jeans, different denims, you know, raw and selvage and all, all the different terms that are out there. Um, so, I mean, if you could pick up a pair of pants, I think at this price, you really can't go wrong, you know, for selvage denim and to get uh, the difference in quality and, uh, you know, fit, etc. So, uh, anyhow, hope this is helpful and uh, thanks for watching. Okay, bye.